G'day everyone and welcome to the very first episode in a series that I want to put together on how to photograph unusual wildlife. Now today we're going to be looking at bats first of all. Bats, as far as I'm concerned, are some of the most incredible of the mammals that we have here in Australia. And Australia does have some really strange mammals, but bats are super interesting. And I guess one of the reasons why is I've always been fascinated by them. Ever since I was a kid, I don't ever get short glimpses of them, usually just on dark, but often see them flying just above the treetops or up and down the, the forest pathway. Every now and again, I think only ever actually on one occasion, we found a bat sort of snuggled up in the eaves under the classroom roof at school. But other than that, didn't really get to see much of them, except once in a while, see them flying under the lights generated by a street light. So, Bats are mysterious, and I guess that's a real part of why, for me, they're super interesting. So I guess no talk about bats in Australia would be complete without talking about the diversity of bat species. And here in Australia, we're blessed with a whole lot. Now, they're basically divided into two groups. You've got the megabats and the microbats. Megabats are what most people are familiar with here in Australia because they're the most obvious. Flying foxes or fruit bats are a great example. They tend to live in very large, noisy camps, right off and right on the edge of human habitation as well. So obviously there's a few clashes there. But what most people don't realize is that there are other kinds of megabat here in Australia as well, ranging right down to the size of the tiny little blossom bats. Wingspan be about that wide. And they feed on, as their name implies, blossoms, though the nectar. The real diverse group of bats in Australia has to be the microbats. There's heaps of different species, and most people rarely, if ever, see them, yet they're just about everywhere. You've got species ranging from high flyers with long, narrow wings, like sheath tail and free tail bats, which hunt for beetles and moths well above the top of the tallest trees and right over the top of city skyscrapers. You've also got, ranging right down to nearly in the forest floor, the bats such as long-eared bats. Now long-eared bats will hunt above or even on the ground at times. So you've got a huge range of different habitats that microbats uh, live in and hunt in. The largest of our microbats, oddly enough, is quite a lot bigger than the smallest of our megabats. It's the ghost bat. The ghost bat is one of two Australian bat species that feed on other vertebrates or backboned animals. Ghost bats will take on anything from large insects through to rodents, small bats and even birds. I've seen them with the remains of diamond doves in the Kimberley before. That's pretty cool. But did you know we even have a species of fishing bat? So Australia's assemblage of bat species is super fascinating. We're going to have a look at how to get some of these photos of them in the wild. So that's where modern technology comes in. We can now look into the world of bats like never before. Near-infrared cameras can see light invisible to humans, allowing us to look at bats and other nocturnal life. Hardware such as Anabat and wildlife acoustic systems let us listen in on bat sonar and social calls, bringing ultrasonic frequencies down to within our hearing range and plotting them on graphs for species identification. And for those that have access to thermal imaging, we can easily see bats in their habitats and get to see the odd steaming hot possum poo tumble to the ground. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed part one. Part two is coming up. But before I go, don't forget to check out the website shown right here because we have all of those images that you've seen behind me available as prints or as stock if you want to download them and use them in a project. Part two is going to go into the ethical ways we photograph these bats flying freely in the wild without having to catch them or even disturb them. So make sure you like and subscribe so you'll be informed when the next video comes out. See you then.